what's up guys it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel now I'm back this week with another DIY for you guys this is super easy to recreate and very inexpensive it is an Ikea hack to make a copper rose gold marble dream desk this is perfect for all your blogger flat lays or for just getting some general work done and it is so easy to recreate so if you want to know how just keep on watching I'll show you how I did it so for this simple DIY, you will need the IKEA Visito desk. This is 40 euros. And as you can see, it has a detachable kind of glass panel and that's what we're gonna marbleize. Now, again, before you start, you need to tape down this little shelf with masking tape because we don't wanna get spray paint on this. We wanna keep this clear and black. You wanna bring your desk outside uh, because there's gonna be loads of spray paint and you do not want any fumes. I brought mine out onto my balcony. My friend Emily is here with me, keeping me company and she is also gonna spray some photo frames as well. So you wanna to get to spraying and of course, as you can see, there are so many fumes and so much spray. So you really, really need to do this outside, guys. What I'm doing now is I am putting a base coat of primer on. You will have seen this if you saw my other rose gold hack about my lamp. I will link the primer below, really, really inexpensive. And then of course, you're gonna use the spray paint afterwards. So first you're putting an all over coat I chose grey because it's a really really nice colour to go under the copper it's going to really make it pop and as you can see I'm doing kind of short enough strokes trying to get as little drips as possible but you will have some drips so don't worry if you see them it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect but you want to get a nice even coat of grey all over the table you can see a close up here of what I'm doing. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You just spray all over. You can see the masking tape is keeping it protected there. You wanna keep it as even as possible. You will have drips, but don't worry, just spray over them. Now, this is what it looks like when it's totally covered. As you can see, the masking tape is protecting it from getting that shelf part all messy. It's gonna keep it nice and clean. So once it's over, you're going to roll out your contact paper and now you're gonna marbleize that little slab of glass. So you wanna lay your glass out. You wanna measure it properly because you don't wanna waste any contact paper. You wanna leave a little bit of overhang on the side and as you can see now it's time to flatten that stuff out it's always good to have a friend with you at this part because it is a little bit awkward use something flat like a book to flatten it out slowly and then if you have any air bubbles you can push those out to the sides I've sped this up so you can see how it goes but the key with this is to go slow and steady and really get an extra pair of hands to help you if you can as you can see, it's lovely and smooth. And when you fold those edges down over, you can see how amazing it's finished. What I've done is I've snipped the corners like wrapping paper, as you can see, which makes it fold down perfectly. So this bit is ready to go. There are no bubbles. We smooth them all out. It's gorgeous. Now we're back to spraying the copper part. You wanna let that gray dry for at least half an hour. Make sure it's perfectly dry. Then you glue them with your copper. As you can see, it's coming up beautifully already. It's gonna be really, really nice and shiny. Of course, you can use this trick with any other spray paint if you wanna go gold or silver or even a block color. Look, doesn't it look so gorgeous when it's finished? I love it. Now, of course, you wanna let this dry for another good half an hour before you come back. So while you're waiting, you can rip off the masking tape and also take a look at Emily's mirror that she did. So good, it looks amazing. Now is the moment of truth. It's time to slot it in together and look how good it looks, you guys. As you can see, it was super simple to do, really, really inexpensive. I'll leave the links to everything below and look at the finished product. Et voila, I think the finished piece looks absolutely amazing and it really does look so much more expensive than it actually is to recreate. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and I will do more DIYs like this. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my weekly videos. So that's it for this week, guys. I will catch you on my next one. Bye.